it's pretty weird to think and pretty hard to accept that our whole lives are spent in front of a screen. When we could be enjoying something, we set up the perfect shot so we can take the perfect picture or the perfect video so we don't forget the moment in front of us. We take part in things that fuel our passions. We stand up for what we believe in and we go out into the world to speak our truth. Maybe we aren't meant to stay in one place forever. We go out into the world, we see things, we experience things, and we meet people along the way. These are the people we want to remember. They build us up, show us love, and they teach us how to be our most authentic selves. We try to capture these moments and soak up every second because we know that everything in this life must come to an end. But endings don't have to be so bad because new things are waiting just around the corner. New adventures, new experiences, and new ways of thinking about things. But it can be hard to let go of the fear in the back of our minds that time is slipping away and we must capture every moment before it is seemingly gone forever. Perhaps it is this moment when we realize that time cannot be captured on a screen and we must take a step back, put our devices down, and try to live before it is too late. So why am I telling you this if you probably already know? Digital media changes our society and it affects how we communicate with ourselves and others around us. Manovich's five principles of new media can help us further understand just how technology is structured and how it affects us as people in our everyday lives. Everything digital is made of ones and zeros. This is a binary code. Videos, photos, memes, tweets, everything is made up of ones and zeros. Individual parts of digital media may be changed or modified independently without changing the entire structure of the object. This differs from old media because if you were to rip a page out of a book, it would change the entire book. Mm -hmm. Rip out the entire page. You heard me. Rip it out. Rip it out! Come on. Rip it out! I'm sure you all know how I feel about the next one. Automation refers to the automatic processes that these binary codes create. This also means that computers are smart enough to learn from patterns and algorithms like Lil Michaela, who is AI, literally a robot. Like, what? Wait, first, for the people who don't know me, my name is Michaela. I'm a 19 year old musician, change seeker, taco truck expert, and robot, and robot, and robot, and robot. Yes, you heard that correctly a robot. I mean, she's literally not real, but she has over a million followers on Instagram. How does that even happen? And she's cooler than me and she's a robot. How does that happen? Something. Oh my god, that's so dumb. I need to calm down. Variability deals with the physical appearance of a digital media object. Variability makes it so that there can be many different unique appearances. For example, editing photos and adding filters. It doesn't change the photo, but it makes a unique version. Lastly, digital media has a computer layer and a cultural layer, and transcoding is when these two merge. For example, emojis are something that we use in our everyday lives, and they have cultural meanings, even though they are digital artifacts. I mean, they even made a whole movie about emojis, but it's really bad and we should stop talking about it. Just like everything else in this world, there are good sides and bad sides to digital technology. I think there can be a healthy balance, but it begins with taking a step back and getting more educated and truly trying to live.